and welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the ten most popular burger toppings and you said cheese, that would be a slice of good fortune. But if you said cream, you'd need whipping into shape. The more top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's in a car different league. Hello, in a car different league. Tell us about that team name. Hi, Warwick. Yeah, this is my family, and to make it easy, we're all from Cardiff. Great stuff. Now let's take this team top of the league. Okay, in a car different league, it's time to release the first question. Top ten names of baby girls in England and Wales that are also the names of plants. So, Johnny, as captain, it's up to you to decide who's the best teammate for this one. I think I'm going to go with Lucy on this one. Lucy, okay. it's time to play Tenable. <laughs> Lucy, hello. Hi. You look thrilled to have been chosen. Yep, really, really thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say to Johnny about this? Sharp words when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do, Lucy? Um, I am a primary school teacher, um, currently on maternity leave. Ah, terrific. Now, you've told us you're a keen photographer. Uh, well, a very amateur photographer, What mainly. do you like taking pictures of? Uh, mainly my new little baby. Um, my oh. camera roll is filled with him in different positions, mainly crying and covered in milk. Oh. Is he photogenic? <laughs> Not particularly. He runs after his father, I'm afraid. Oh, <laughs> oh that's good, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I failed my photography exam due to poor concentration. Just couldn't focus. <laughs> OK, Lucy, let's light up this list. Here's how the game works. You need five tenable answers to put £1,000 into your prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. Now, Lucy, you have one life so you can make one mistake. Put any more than that and you're out of the game. Okay. The team has three nominates to use across the show. If you can't think of an answer, you can nominate a teammate to provide one for you. Also, your team captain, Johnny, can overrule one of your answers. So, are you ready to play tenable? Yep. All right, then, here's your question again. Top ten names of baby girls in England and Wales that are also the names of plants. All right, Lucy, listen carefully. I'll clarify this for you. This question is about the top 100 most popular first names that were given to girls born in England and Wales in 2019, according to the Office for National Statistics. Ten of those names are also the names of plants or trees, according to Chambers' 21st Century Dictionary. We are looking for those ten first names. So, Lucy, is that clear? Yes. All right, then, Lucy, good luck with this. What's your first answer? Um, my first answer is going to be Daisy. Is Daisy tenable? <laughs> yeah, there's Daisy. Over 1,500 girls were called Daisy. Well done, Lucy. You've got one correct answer. It's going well so far. <laughs> so what's your next answer? Um, next, I'm going to go with... Uh, Rose. Is Rose tenable? Okay. Yep, there's Rose. Okay, what's your next answer, Lucy? Um, next, I'm going for Holly. Is Holly in this list? Okay, there she is. So you're doing very well. Three correct Thank answers you. on the board. Two away from that £1,000 and a place in the final now. OK. Just trying to think of all the children <laughs> that I've taught. Oh, yeah. And what names they had that are plants. I will go with Willow. Mm hmm Is Willow tenable? Oh, that's tenable. <laughs> Well done, Lucy. Now, for some reason, Willow is one of my favourite names. Why is that? <laughs> don't worry, Lucy, I don't like to talk about it. OK. You know, being a Hollywood film star and all that. Yeah. Never want to mention it on Tenable. <laughs> you know, in a film called Willow, you know. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what about you, Anne? You know, don't you? I've heard of it, yes. Yes, you were in it. I was in it. Well yes. done, Anne. <laughs> Good work. I was Willow, the titular character, yes. Oh, can we edit that bit out, uh, please? No, we can't, no. <laughs> Sorry. As I said, I don't like to talk about it, so let's move on. <laughs> OK, Lucy, look at this. You've got four <laughs> great answers on the board. You're one away from £1,000 and a place in the final. You've still got your life and your nominates, but this is your last chance to nominate in your game. 
and Johnny's last chance to overrule with his expert knowledge of girls' names. <laughs> okay, um, Ivy. Okay, good. For £1,000 and a place in the final, is Ivy our fifth tenable answer? Magnificent melody means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Plus, we'll add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Lucy. Good Thank work. You. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up there left to reveal. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. You can't use your nominate. Johnny can't overall either. But you still have your life. Give me a name. Rowan. You're saying Rowan? Yeah. For £2,500. Is Rowan tenable? Untenable. Oh, Lucy, you've lost your life now, so be careful. Okay. Don't make another mistake, because you'll lose that thousand pounds <laughs> plus your place to. in the final. Okay, I think I will sit down then, if that's okay. So, Lucy, you've decided to take the money. Yes. We'll add that one thousand pounds to your prize fund, and you'll be joining your captain in the final. Before you sit down, let's reveal these missing answers, shall we? Okay, team. Any ideas? Poppy. Poppy. Oh. Good one, Anne. Primrose. About you chaps. Or is that too old? You're saying Primrose. Okay, Gareth, Reese. I don't have a clue on this. Not a clue. No you clues. Well. Okay, behind number 10, we have... It's Iris. Oh, oh. Number nine. It's Jasmine. Number six. Oh. Violet. Number three. Oh. It's Poppy, which is what you said, Anne. Oh, yeah. And behind number one... Lily. 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 Any of these flowers on your shirt, Lucy? <laughs> um, I have to ask my granny. I don't know about what about that. you, Gareth? You've got loads of stuff on your shirt. I, know, I just picked it because it looked nice. It's very, it's very pretty, I Thank must you. say. Well, Lucy, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Lucy. Well done. Thank you. Team, you've got £1,000 in your prize fund, but can you add to that? It's time to look at your next list. Ten wars from major battles. So, Johnny, who's the right person for this one? I think that's a bit of a, a bit of a history question. So, mm -hmm. possibly the best person for this might be Gareth. Gareth, please join me to play Tenable. <sighs> Hello, Gareth. Hello. You were shaking your head there. Yeah. Um. Don't really know wars that well. <laughs> but Johnny thinks you know history. Certain parts of history, yes. But not wars. You skipped over those bits. Yeah. So, Gareth, what do you do? Uh, I'm a cinema host and barista in my local cinema. Ah, so what does a cinema host do? Pretty much everything. Uh, so I sell and check tickets, serve food, uh, clean up afterwards. So you basically run the whole place? Yeah. Fabulous. You know, my mate's a barista, terrible timekeeper, always latte. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that one, Anne? Very witty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are they getting better or worse? What do better, you think? I think. Yeah. Better, oh. better, yeah. So the Warwick gag graph is go going up like this, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Definitely. Excellent. We'll check in again later, Anne. <laughs> All right, then, Gareth, enough of this chat. So are you ready to play Tenable? As ready as I'll ever be. Great stuff. Here's your question again. Ten wars from major battles. Right, I'll just clarify this for you. The Tenable Tower will show the titles of ten major battles in history, along with the year the battles took place. We're looking for the names of the wars during which these battles took place. All right then, Gareth, is that clear? Yes. Fabulous. Here are your ten clues. Tet Offensive. Battle of Britain. Battle of the Somme. Battle of Gettysburg. Battle of Balaclava. Battle of Trafalgar. Battle of Bunker Hill. Battle of Naseby. Battle of Bosworth Field. And Battle of Agincourt. So there are your clues. Let's get your first war on the board. Let's see the British Civil War. All right, let's see. Is the British Civil War tenable? Nice end, Gareth. There it is. Good. Well done, Gareth. Yeah, good. Feels good, doesn't it, to get one on the board? Mm. Yeah, I'm really relieved. <laughs> yeah, you look it. All righty. Um, Battle of the Somme, so it's got to be World War I. Is World War I tenable? Good. 
Yeah, there it is. Right. Well done, Gareth. Yeah. Battle of Britain has got to be World War II. Is World War II tenable? Yes, it is. So you're doing very well. Three correct answers on the board. I think I'm going to go with, because uh, this sort of falls into my specialist mm. subject a little bit, be the Battle of Bosworth Field, be in the Wars of the Roses. Is Wars of the Roses tenable? Yeah, there it is, Gareth. Well done. So Johnny was right to choose you for this. Yeah, I, I maybe I was a bit, a bit quick to yeah. be disappointed. Okay, you're one away from £1,000 and guaranteeing your place in the final now. Okay. You've still got your life, plus your nominates. Okay. Last chance to nominate now. Uh, I'm going to guess the American Civil War. Okay, for £1,000 and a place in the final, is the American Civil War tenable? So that happy harmony means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Plus, we'll add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Gareth. Thank you. Now, your next correct answer is worth £2,500. You've still got your life. So I think it's a bit of a free hit. Uh, so I yes, use my indeed, life. Yeah. I'm going to say the Battle of Balaclava. I'm going to go with the Crimean War. For £2,500, is the Crimean War tenable? There it is, well done. So what's your next war? I'm gonna go with, for the Battle of Bunker Hill, I'm gonna go with the War of Independence. For 5,000 pounds, is the War of Independence tenable? Oh. Yeah, there it is. Nice one. So that's 5,000 pounds into your prize fund. You're making it look very easy, Gareth. So your next correct answer is worth £10,000. Okay, this is going to be my risk, I think. It's the Tet Offensive. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to guess at the Vietnam War. Okay, for £10,000, is the Vietnam War tenable? Yep, that's up there. Well done, Gareth. £10,000 into the prize fund now. Your next correct answer is worth £15,000. Um, Battle of Agincourt. This one is also a bit of a risk. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Hundred Years' War for that one. For £15,000, is the Hundred Years' War tenable? Yes, it is. Wow, the team are delighted, especially Johnny over there. Oh, I can't, can't even believe it. You're one away from a perfect 10 and 25,000 pounds now, and you still have your life. Still have my life. Mm -hmm. Battle of Trafalgar, I may as well go for it. Battle of Trafalgar, I'd like to say, is the Napoleonic Wars. So for a perfect 10 and 25,000 pounds, is the Napoleonic Wars our final tenable answer? £25,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a gigantic total of £26,000. Well done, and your return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Gareth. Well Thank played, you. sir. Thank you. After the break, can this family add more bucks to their bank? Just sit tight and you'll see if they might. Welcome back to Tenable, where this team from Cardiff have been taking on our list of ten. Lucy and Gareth have made it through to the final, and they have banked a seismic £26,000. Let's get straight on with our next top ten. The last ten week themes in the Great British Bake Off. So, Johnny, who's the right person for this one? 
Well, based on who's left, mm -hmm. the person for this uh, question is going to be Anne. Anne, it's time to play Tenable. Well, Hello, Anne. Welcome to the game. Hi, Warwick. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Very nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Thank you. So tell us about yourself, Anne. I'm a retired nurse. Um, I'm enjoying spending time with my grandson, my new grandson now. What do you like to do in your spare time? Baking. I love baking ah. and cooking. Yeah. What's your speciality? Chocolate cake. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did you bring one today? I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, you do disappoint me, <laughs> Anne. <laughs> so how long were you a nurse for? Uh, 38 years. I started wow. when I was a young girl. So what did you like about doing it? Well, I thought it's a privilege to be a nurse, I mm. think. I love caring for people. And you never know what to expect on each given day, do you? You don't. Each day is different. Each mm. patient is different. Absolutely. You know, every day is different for me, too. Sometimes I sit in my gym jams and watch TV all day. Sometimes it's a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that one, Anne? Very good. Where's the graph now? Still going up or yeah, you leveled definitely, off? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Going up still, oh, yeah. Thank you, Anne. You're going to do well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes, I think so. The last ten week themes in The Great British Bake Off. I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the most recent ten different weekly themes in The Great British Bake Off. This is as of the end of the 2020 series. For clarity, this does not include the final. So, is that clear, Anne? I think so, yes. Thank you. Fantastic. So, when you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. Okay. Um, I think my first answer is going to be bread. Bread week. Is bread our first tenable answer? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Well done, Anne. OK, you've got one correct answer on the board. OK. That's bread week. Right. I'll go for... What's the next week? Biscuit week. Is biscuit week tenable? Yeah, there it is. Good work. OK, let's get another answer up there. I'll try Chocolate Week. Let's see, then. Is Chocolate Week tenable? Oh. There it is. Well done. So when you bake your chocolate cake, yeah. do you ever get a soggy bottom? No. <laughs> no. And how do you not get a soggy bottom? Just turn it out as soon as it comes out of the oven. OK. And then it should be OK. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Thank you never you. thought this show would be so testing, did you? I didn't. <laughs> All right, what's your next week? I'll go for Cake Week. Is Cake Week tenable? <laughs> yeah, there it is. So, Anne, you're doing really well. You've got four correct answers on the board. You're one away from £1,000 and a place in the final now. I wonder if I could nominate Lucy by any chance to think of okay. another week. Lucy, you've been nominated. Can you help Anne with a week here? Um, Japanese week. Lucy thinks Japanese week. Do you trust Lucy with this? Yeah, I do, yes. Even though she's never seen Willow? <laughs> <laughs> I trust her. So for £1,000 and a place in the final, is Japanese week tenable? Well, that cheerful chime means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Plus, we'll add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Anne. Thank you. And also, well done, Lucy. Yes, Good work thank there. You, Lucy. Well your next tenable answer is worth £2,500, Anne. But you can't use your nominates now. Dessert week. Dessert week? Yeah. Ooh. I'll go for that one. Can I just say that I don't like to talk about myself? Go on. I was star baker on the Comic Relief Bake Off once. Ah. Mm. Good. Impressed? Very impressed. What did you make? <laughs> Oh, gosh. You can't I can't remember. say in case I give something away. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you after. All right, then. Tell me after. <laughs> All right, then. So. <laughs> OK, right. I what get was it. your answer again? Dessert week. OK. Yeah. For £2,500, is dessert week tenable? Good work, Anne. Good. So that's £2,500 yes. into your prize fund. OK. Your next correct answer is worth £5,000. And you've still got your life. Well, I think they made, like, rainbow bagels or something like that. Was that, like, a 
fried bagels. So what's your answer going to be now? Should we say that? Fried bagels. Okay. For £5,000, is fried bagels tenable? untenable Sorry, yeah so you've lost your life now okay so now you've got to decide do you want to play on or play it safe play it safe please i'll sit down now i think so you've decided to take the money yes, we'll add that two thousand five hundred pounds to your prize fund and you are guaranteed a place in the final with your husband johnny great before you sit down though let's reveal these missing weeks shall we johnny any ideas sir let's say pastry week oh ah, good one there. yes absolutely. i forgot pastry week yes let's reveal these missing answers shall we behind number 10 we have Festival oh, week. Oh, that's when they made the bagels, yes. Oh, that was it, was it? Behind number five. Oh, it is pastry week. I well done, Johnny. Yeah. And number three, 1980s oh, week. Okay. Wow. Didn't remember that. Number one, patisserie, patisserie week. week. Never mind. So the bagels were part of bread week, actually. Yeah. Oh, were they? Oh. Yeah. So on Bake Off, I made a Bakewell tart, which was Mary's technical challenge, and I did... Um, a giant gâteau, which was absolutely enormous. And I also did some shortbread biscuits, my favourite sort. Very nice. Yeah, I like shortbread biscuits. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Anne, you've added £2,500 to your prize fund, giving your team a mega total of £28,500. Fabulous. And your return later on to play for it in the final. Well played, Anne. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. We have one last list before Captain Johnny faces his tower. Reese, you're the only teammate left to play, so let's hope you're the right person for this one. Please come and play Tenable. <laughs> so, Reese, welcome to the game, sir. Thank you very much How for you having doing? me. I'm very good. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Now, I hear you want to visit every football stadium in the UK. I do. I have a checklist at home, and every stadium I go to, I, I tick it off. So why did you want to do that? Uh, I'm just really interested in the stats and the different grounds and... Well, how many seats they've got. Exactly. How tall they are. Yeah. How much they cost to build. Yeah. Do you ever try and run around the grass when no one's looking? Um, not as of yet, no. <laughs> well, Reese, welcome to the Premier League of Quiz Shows. Thank you. So, are you ready to play Tenable? I am, yes. Fabulous. The 10 English Premier League and EFL clubs in the 2020-21 season, nearest to Land's End. Right, I'll just clarify this one for you. We're looking for the 10 clubs in the Premier League, the Championship, League One and League Two, with home grounds nearest to Land's End in Cornwall, as the crow flies. This is as of September 2020. So is that clear, Reese? It is, yes. Great stuff. All right then, Reese. when you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. I'm gonna say Plymouth. Is Plymouth our first tenable answer? Oh, yeah. There it is. Great start, Reese. Having a bit of a mind block at the moment. You've got your two nominates if you want to nominate. I will use one of the nominates just to see if I can get my brain in gear. Okay, who would you like to nominate? I'd like to nominate Johnny. Johnny, you've been nominated. Can you help Reese with an answer? Yep. I'm going to say Bristol City. Okay, Reese, do you like the sound of his answer? I'll go with it, yeah. Okay, let's see. Is Bristol City tenable? <laughs> there it is. Well done. Good work, Johnny. Mm. And good use of that nominate there, Reese. So, has that helped you at all? A little bit. Bristol City's local derby mm -hmm. is against Bristol Rovers. So I'm going to say Bristol Rovers. Is Bristol Rovers tenable? <laughs> well, there they are. Okay, your brain is most definitely in gear now. Yeah. Still got your life? Plus one nominate. Newport County. Okay. Is Newport County tenable? Yes, it is. Good, Reese. Good. Nice one, Reese. So you've got four correct answers on the board. You still got your life plus one nominate, but this is your last chance to nominate in your game. 
I think it would be silly not to mention Cardiff City. You're saying Cardiff City. So for £1,000 and a place in the final, is Cardiff City tenable? So Reese, that super sound means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. We'll also add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Thank you. If you want to continue, your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. I think I'll play on, seeing as I've got my life. OK. And I'll say Swansea City. So for £2,500, is Swansea City tenable? Well done, Reese. Good work. So your next tenable answer is worth five thousand pounds. I will guess with Walsall. You're saying Walsall for five thousand pounds. Is Walsall tenable? Oh no, Reese, that was untenable. So you've lost your life. Be very careful now. An incorrect answer here will mean you'll leave the game via the vortex. I think I'll sit down, please. So you've decided to take the money. We'll add that £2,500 to your prize fund. And you are guaranteed a place in the final with your captain, Johnny. Before you do sit down, let's reveal these missing answers. Behind number 10, we have... Southampton. Number 9. Ooh. Forest Green Rovers. Number 8. AFC Bournemouth. Number two, Exeter City. Easy when you can see them, isn't it? Mm. I know. I've been to most of them as well. <laughs> but you've done well. You've added £2,500 to your prize fund, giving your team a delightful total of £31,000. And you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Thank Congratulations, you. Reese. Well played. Okay. Coming up, can Captain Johnny top up that team pot? Stick with me and you will see. Welcome back to Tenable, where this team of family members have been ticking off some lists of ten. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their smashing £31,000 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper Johnny to take on the tower. Now, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final with all four of your teammates, but this is your chance to add as much money as possible to the team's prize fund. Are you up to it? Absolutely. Great stuff. Johnny, please come and play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Captain Johnny. Afternoon, so, how do you rate the team so far? I think they've done outstandingly well. I'm really proud of them. So tell us about your work. OK, so I'm a retail bank trainer for a major high street bank, uh, which means I train new guys coming into the bank or people going into different roles to make sure that they're fit for their roles when they go back to their branches. Mm, very good, excellent. My wife worked as a cashier, but she stopped enjoying it. She didn't like change. <laughs> <laughs> Anne, what do you reckon? Very good. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Anne. Do you make a lot of jokes, Johnny, at home? Um, well, I think they're jokes. Yes, he <laughs> does. He does. Not sure any does he? <laughs> do you laugh politely or just say, oh, do shut up, Johnny? Probably a bit of both of them, <laughs> I would have thought. <laughs> OK, Johnny, enough of this chat. Let's get to that. OK. <clears throat> Here's how the game works. You'll be playing just like your teammates before you, and because you've got a full team in the final, you'll be playing to add more cash to your prize fund. There's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder and reach £1,000. Once there, you can walk away or choose to play on. You've got a life and your team have left you with one nominate. All right, Johnny, here's your question. Ten bands with numbers in their name. So I'll just clarify this for you. The Tenable Tower will show the titles of ten UK top ten singles released by a band that features a number in their name, along with the year each song first entered the charts. We are looking for the names of the ten corresponding bands. So is that clear? Yes. All right, Johnny, here are your ten clues. Love Shack, Red Red Wine, Temptation, it's all right. Dreadlock Holiday. Moves Like Jagger. December 1963. Oh, what a night. 
with or without you, counting stars, and what makes you beautiful. Right, so Johnny, there are your clues. Let's get your first band on the board. Okay, so going up the top, I'm gonna start with Red Red Wine, which is UB40. Is UB40 tenable? Yes, it is. Well done, Johnny. So I'm going to move on to 1987. Okay. Here are those marries. And I'm going to go with With or Without You is U2. Is U2 tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. So, Johnny, was the 80s your era? I like the 80s. I like my music, generally. Well, it's showing. You're doing very well. Thank you. What do you got next? I'm going to go... I'm going to move back to 70s. I say I like okay. the 80s. I'm going to move back to 78. Dreadlock Holiday. 10cc. Is 10cc tenable? There they are. Good. Well done, Johnny. I can hear them all in my head. Mm -hmm. Struggling with sang them. Right. Uh, so, for this one, I'm going to nominate, please. And I'm going to nominate Lucy, please. Okay, Lucy, you've been nominated. Can you help Johnny with an answer? <clears throat> um, I think I know two, but one I'm more certain of, which is um, what makes you beautiful, and I think that is One Direction. So Lucy thinks One Direction. You don't have to take that answer. Now Lucy said it, I think she's right, and I'm gonna take that answer, Trusting please. Lucy? Yes, please. Okay, let's find out, shall we? Is One Direction tenable? <laughs> yeah, there's One Direction, well done, Lucy, good work. All right, lads, if you're watching. Fabulous, so Johnny, look at this. Four correct answers on the board. Just one away from that 1,000 pounds now. This is where it becomes... Um, I'm starting to guess now. Okay. As I say, I know the songs, I don't know who's singing. So I'm gonna go uh, Temptation Three Degrees. For 1,000 pounds, is Three Degrees tenable? Oh no, that's untenable, Johnny. Okay. So you lost your life now. Mm -hmm. Another incorrect answer means you won't have a chance to add any more cash to the prize fund. Right. Okay. So thank you. I'm going to try with It's All Right, and I'm just going to go with a group with a number in its name. Don't know if it's right, but I'm going to say S Club 7. So for £1,000, is S Club 7 tenable? Untenable. Never mind. So, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund, but you're still in the final, so let's see if you can do any better there. Thank you. Before you sit down, though, any other thoughts on what might be up there? Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Four Seasons, oh, yeah. I knew it was Frankie Valley. Four Seasons. In the Four Seasons bit. Mm. Reese, anything? Maroon 5, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a number in it, hasn't it? What about you, Anne? Any guesses? I was going to say Four Seasons. Um, okay. All right, let's see, shall we? I can't we? think of any others. Counting Stars was by mm. One Republic. December 1963, Oh What a Night was by The Four Seasons, which is what you said. Mm. Moves Like Jagger was by oh, Maroon 5, John, you should have known which that. is what Reese said. <laughs> it's All Right was by mm. East 17. Temptation was by oh, Heaven 17, mm. one from the 80s there. Love Shack was by the B-52s, mm. one of my favourite party bangers, that track. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Johnny, you didn't add any money to your prize fund, but we'll see you back in the final with all of your teammates, where you'll be playing for a grand total of £31,000. Let's hear it for Johnny. Thank you.
Coming up, can this lot fill every blank and empty their bank? Find out right after this. Welcome back to Tenable, where these guys have all their players in the final and are playing for the sumptuous sum of £31,000. Well, in a car different league, to take home that prize, you're going to have to give me every answer up there again and achieve another perfect 10. Get 10 out of 10 and you'll be walking away with that monster £31,000. How do you all feel? Fantastic. Very good. Mm. Looking forward to it. Excited. Yeah. Excellent. Well, in a car different league, it's time to face your final Tower of 10. For your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. C.S. Lewis, countries. So what do you like the look of? Yeah, it's certain countries. countries. Yeah. It's probably the best option. Yeah. 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 Okay. Countries, yeah. So what have you decided, John? Okay, so I think we're quite unanimous. It's mm -hmm. going to be countries. You're going for countries. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you must say one answer and nothing else. You chosen countries. Let's reveal your final list of 10 worth 31,000 pounds. The 10 six letter countries that begin with the letters M to S. I'll just clarify this for you. In an alphabetical list of the usual English short form names of countries, we are looking for the names of the 10 countries that consist of exactly six letters and that start with the letters M to S inclusive. As ever by country, we are referring to a sovereign state that is a member of the United Nations in its own right. This is as of December 2020. So is that clear? Yes. Johnny, please take your position. So what do you think of the question, Johnny? Um, cautiously optimistic. Good stuff. So when you're ready, please give me your first answer. Norway. Is Norway our first tenable answer? Yes, it is. Well done, Johnny. Lucy, you're next. So, Lucy, do you like geography? Nope. Oh. <laughs> so you don't like this question? Not particularly, no. Um, I do have one answer. Poland. Is Poland tenable? Yes, it is. Well done, Lucy. Gareth, please step forward. So, Gareth, you put £25,000 of this cash in the pot. Do you think you can help bring it home? I hope so. I'd like to try Serbia. Is Serbia in this list? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done, Gareth. Anne, please step forward. Sian, how do you feel about this? A bit nervous. You've banked a huge amount of money. Can you help win it? I hope so. I don't want to let them down. Um, no, indeed. I'll say Russia. Is Russia tenable? <laughs> yeah, that's tenable. Well done, Anne. Reese, please step forward, sir. So, Reese, look at this, four out of four so far. Can you make it five out of five? I think so. Rwanda. Is Rwanda tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. Okay. Excellent. Team Captain Johnny, please step forward. So, Johnny, it's going well, isn't it? It's going excellent. You're halfway there now. Just five answers down between you and that £31,000 now. So what's your next answer? Sweden. Is Sweden tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. Nice one, Johnny. Lucy, you're up next. So, Lucy, you said you had one correct answer. <laughs> You've already given that. Have you yeah. got more? No. <laughs> Mine have been taken. Um, 
so I'm just gonna have to guess a totally wrong answer. Um, Malta. Is Malta tenable? That's untenable, as you suspected. Yes. So I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. Thanks for playing, Lucy. Thank you. Gareth, please step forward. So, Gareth, you've lost your first teammate now. There's still four answers to find on this board. I'm going to go with Madagascar, please. Mm. Is Madagascar tenable? That's untenable. Madagascar has ten letters. Oh, of course. So, Gareth, I'm afraid we have to <laughs> say goodbye to you, sir. Thanks for playing. Thank you. And please step forward. So you've lost Gareth and Lucy now. Mm. Still four answers to find, three brains to find them. I've tried Malawi. OK, let's have a look. Is Malawi tenable? Yes, it is. Well done, Anne. Well done. Thank you. Reese, please step forward. So, Reese, you've lost your wife and your brother. Three answers to find now. Can you give me one of those answers? I don't have anything in the mind. I'll have to go Moldova. Is Moldova tenable? untenable I'm afraid it is in fact the Republic of Moldova and Moldova has seven letters if you think about it <laughs> so I'm sorry Reese. we have to say goodbye to you sir thank you Johnny please step forward oh look at this your team is somewhat depleted now all well, the kids have gone still got the missus left mm -hmm. three answers to find that's what stands between you and 31,000 pounds here on tenable don't know the spelling mm. I don't even know if it's a country. Oh dear. I'm gonna say Macau. All right, let's find out, shall we, Johnny? Is Macau tenable? <laughs> oh, Johnny, that is untenable. Macau is a region of China and only has five letters. Thank you very so, much. So, Johnny, you have been a brilliant captain, but I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. Thank you, And please step forward. So, Anne, look at this. It's just you, me, the Tenable Tower, and these three missing answers. Yes. I'm going to let you think now. Yeah, OK, So, we're looking you. for six-letter countries, beginning with the letters M to S. Oh, sorry. Um, Romania. I know it's. I can't think. There's too many letters. I know, but. Okay, let's have a look. Mm. Is Romania tenable? I know that's untenable, Anne. Romania does have seven letters. Yes. Well, that means, unfortunately, Anne, you haven't managed to top the tower mm. and you won't be going home with that prize money. I'm really sorry. All right, let's have a look at those missing answers, shall we? So behind number five, we have Panama. Panama, yeah. That's in Central America. Yeah. Behind number three is... Monaco. Monaco. And number two... Mexico. It's Mexico. Border, yeah. Easy when you can see them, isn't it, Anne? It is. 
Never well, yeah, I've been a lovely thank family. You. It's been so a pleasure much. to have you on the show today. It's been lovely to meet thank you. Thank you so much for playing. Yeah, lovely you. to meet you, Anne. Big fan so for the much. show. Oh, thank Never you very mind. much. Thank you. So that's it. Today's last list was too car difficult, and this lot leave here with nothing. Bad luck, team. Join us next time when five more contestants play Tenable. Goodbye.